Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. In this video I'll be giving you guys some terraforming tips, ideas and inspiration you can use on your own islands. Terraforming can be a pretty overwhelming feature. With so much potential it can be really difficult to decide exactly what to do with it. I'm sure you guys have seen some really cool islands online that have utilized this feature and at times it can definitely be demotivating if you feel your island might be lagging behind the rest. But in all honesty there's no right or wrong way to design your island. All that matters is that you enjoy it. So I want to give you guys a few of my own ideas that you guys might find helpful. Let's get straight into this and if you're excited be sure to leave a like. Number 1 Waterfalls Creating waterfalls with the terraforming app is such a cool feature and you can make some pretty unique looking layouts with this. For example in my hot spring area I have a pretty wide waterfall to really emphasize that this is a special place. You'll never see a waterfall this wide normally in the game, so it's cool you can do things like this with the Island Designer app. I've even connected it to some little streams to really make it come together and feel more natural. I feel like the natural look here is really important to me. Number 2, Stepping Stones. Creating tiny little stepping stones in the river is so much fun. You can jump on them or even put furniture pieces on top to make it look really cool. They feel like little natural islands forming in the river and make the plain old river look a lot more interesting and diverse. Sometimes they can even save you from needing a bridge in a certain area which is really great since as we know those bridges can be really expensive and you can only have up to 8 on your island so if you're ever stuck you could just add some stepping stones. I've even added custom patterns on top of these ones to make them seem a bit more natural which I think has worked really well. Number 3, Miniature Cliffs. I really love creating miniature cliff structures like this around my island. I have tons of them, literally tons of them. They feel really natural since we are on a deserted island and you probably would see more sort of rocky structures like this around an island. I've added a little stream on top to make them look really cool. I feel like they'd look a lot plainer if they didn't have that stream. It helps fill up an area of an island that might feel a bit more empty as well. So if you're looking for some filler, this is a really good idea. Just the elevation makes the areas look really cool to me. Number 4, Shrines. I was really sad there was no town tree in this game like a New Leaf, so I decided to make my own tree near resident services. I thought this would look really neat and be a special little area on my island that visitors and even my residents could enjoy. It looks pretty cool and I've added the lion statue to make it seem even more special. Like maybe the lion statue is the deity of my island or something. I don't really know, but visitors can make their own guesses and you know, form their own ideas about the island's lore and backstory. Number 5, my final idea and tip is just to have fun with it. Terraforming can be really stressful but at the end of the day it should be exciting. For me, I only started to enjoy terraforming when my island was mostly laid out and I could use terraforming to add to it instead of trying to change the whole layout drastically. Of course, everyone has their own play styles and it's important to stick to what makes you happy and makes you feel good. So with this feature, you can truly make your island look unique. So try giving some of these ideas a shot. I really hope you enjoyed them. If you did, you can leave a like and of course subscribe for even more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. Hey guys, and thanks for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. I want to say a big thanks to Polydor Records for sponsoring this video, and I hope you guys will enjoy even more Animal Crossing content coming soon.